Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the Raw Wrap-Up. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And we got the crew with us tonight. It's a wonderful night to talk about Monday Night Raw and no show that might have happened right before it over the weekend. But with us to talk about things is from Poughkeepsie, New York, is the only mayhemer with a feature endeavor letter from the WWE. He is Mad Mike. Oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't hear you over this sick new haircut. Oh, so. look at that. Look at that dude. Yeah. You're on video. Mm. There you go. Check him mm. on that on the Facebook. Looking like Dean Ambrose and shit. Yeah, check that out on the Facebook. <laughs> check that out over mm. on the uh, the uh, uh, YouTube and everything, right? There you go. Yeah. Got the looks. You know. Actually, it's more of a Kevin Owens haircut. What? Oh, what? You mean I'm the American Kevin Owens again? I think you are, Mike. Oh, uh, that's Larry. Larry's back. Hi. He's, How's he's, everybody doing? You're back from the death season I that am. is Halloween. I am. Yep. And I just watched my first Raw since, oh, God. Oh, he had so many questions. Oh, when, when, when was man. SummerSlam? Mm, in the summer. When was that month? That's oh, like August. August? Yeah. Okay, since like, we'll say, be, we'll say it was at the, we'll say beginning of September. Mm-hmm. It's been a while. Oh, oh. oh thank you. Hello, it's been man. a while. It's probably gonna be it's a while been again. A while. <laughs> <laughs> Did not endear you <laughs> to to this. Oh, uh, we'll we'll talk about this uh, in a little in, in a moment. But Brandon is with us from the KC. He's gonna be watching Raw Brand- next to you. Going to Raw next week. Wheels is Brandon, in the chat. Brandon, don't room. waste your money. <laughs> Brandon, scalp the oh. tickets and go do something fun. Yes. I oh, entirely I got, agree. I don't know. I got something loading over uh, over Mad Mike's face for some reason. Did you just censor bar his new haircut? <laughs> I think we just censored you. Yeah, you're, 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 you censor bar his. You're, new... you're, you're, you're... Oh, no, you censor barred everything but the hair. <laughs> yeah, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> we just... Okay. All right. It's all right. The hair's the hair's good, Mike. Yeah, the, the hair's hair good. You're all right. Okay. All right. Well, as long as, long as as long as the hair is okay, you know, take all care right. of spike your hair. That's all Monday Night Raw was tonight, and not until about halfway through the show when Elias was battling. Uh, what Dolph Ziggler wasn't it? Um, uh, that I realized that we were in <laughs> the UK. Yeah, I, I guess okay. So we were all over the place. We had our our friends the comic book put here in the studio tonight. So um, um, Larry actually came by and we went to Eaton Park and watched Raw with the subtitles at the table at Eaton Park. And I gotta be honest, <laughs> it wasn't that bad. No, at Eaton Park with no. subtitles. I mean, you know, kind of following that that, that promo a little yeah. bit, and then of course we left Eaton Park at about a quarter to nine and realized. Guys, there's only been one match. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. That was mm-hmm. weird. Yep. That yep. was a little yep. weird. Yeah. 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 Boy. <laughs> yeah. I don't Raw even remember who the match was. Who was the stop. match? It was the rematch from Evolution that was uh, oh, Riot Squad, right, yeah. uh, the three, Bailey. The three woman tag match. Mystical glasses that we've never heard of before. What, what did they explain? Ooh. Were they? Were they? Um, they were Anvil's glasses. Were they Anvil's glasses? Was that they the deal? They were not I Anvil's glasses. I they didn't have a single dot of pink on them. I couldn't imagine she'd be that upset if there were any other glasses. Yeah, that has to be the case, well, right? Well, no. I mean, they said she said they were Anvil's glasses. Okay, well, we had subtitles on, um, so she muted, sa- so. she said the Anvil she said her dad gave them to her. I'm like, was it a Christmas gift or like uh, like I I get it. We're trying to infuse some story. I'll mm-hmm. let this shit slide, but Either geez. way, Ruby Riot's a bitch for breaking them. Can we talk oh, about yeah. how I didn't know that what was a... Ruby Riot? Yeah, yeah, she changed she changed her look. The last time I, mean, I saw Ruby Riot, she had person. short black hair. I thought that was Eva Marie or Eve Marie, Eva Marie. I can't mm-hmm. remember. I mm-hmm. thought that was her. It was not. Oh, uh, Toddy from Thrifty is in the, is in the chat room. Uh, throw those W's up if you feel welcome out there, guys. Throw the W's uh, up. In I the don't chat feel room. I don't feel welcome. I'm raw. <laughs> That's true. I'm, I'm throwing I'm throwing the M up. The M up for meh. Throw throw <laughs> the M's up if you feel meh about raw. I love that we're co-opting <laughs> this. <laughs> it's like my favorite concept from Thrifty. Uh, whenever they do the live shows here. Uh, but anyways, we'll see what happens in the chat in about thirty seconds. Uh, but uh, hey, yeah, so go ahead. here's something I've never understood about professional wrestling. <laughs> oh, this is be good. Oh, here's boy. something I've I've never understood. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um. So, 
you have things that are personally important to you, okay? Like, really important, uh, some kind of emotional significance, um, some kind of uh, monetary significance, you know? And it can be anything. Let's say um, The Rock's $500 suit, uh, Kurt Angle's gold medal, Dean Ambrose's potted plant. Vince's Corvette. Vince's Corvette. Uh, the Natty- coffin. The coffin Big Show's dad was in. No, 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 no. We're not no? going there. Oh, okay. Or, or like, or the glasses that Natty's dad gave to her. Okay. Okay. Now, if you're a wrestler, why? Oh, why would you bring them actively to what was once called legitimately a war zone? It's the PG era now, Mike. Yeah, it's not a war zone. Raw is not yeah. war. This is oh, a peaceful place. Raw, it, it's still Monday Night Raw, okay? Yes. yes. It. Listen, wh- listen. Why? When's the last time somebody's you're, gotten you're smacked on SmackDown? It's a, a, a squad of women who like to riot. Hey, ah. maybe Natty didn't think they would put the glasses in the script. All right? She listen. was the one who introduced them. Listen. Maybe, maybe the ring hand should have done the proper thing and take all their gear to the back like you're supposed to. Wow, so you're so you're just blaming ring ring hands. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's okay, what I did this weekend. Okay, Sorg, I see you. I see you, Sorg. Listen, listen. That's I'm the fine. one that had to find Gory's mask. Fin, I'm just if saying. I remember right, Finn Balor's jacket was still on the ground when he got uh, uh, when B- Bobby Lashley got kicked between the ropes. Wow, wow. So we're just splitting everything on the ring hands. Yeah. Today. Okay. They, they, were they do a good in the damn UK. job. Listen, listen. They maybe maybe the they UK. don't get as good a, a ring crew out there in the UK. <sighs> I guess. <laughs> All right. I mean, look at I, look, look I, at the, still look at the ring question. crew's track record. Mm-hmm. They can't even build a uh, ring that'll hold the big show getting suplexed off the top rope. Ah, there you go. There you go. There you have no, it. No, actually, it it. it, it He's gotten suplexed off the top rope before without it exploding. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, so so one thing I like tonight. <laughs> actually, hold on. Let's, uh, on that, let's. Drake Toddy Maverick. says, I'm going to try to do this justice. Drake Maverick looks like an employee from Buckle, the store at the mall. Love him. AOP, tag champs, baby. Uh, oh, Sorg. Sorg, we need to teach you how to do the babies. I, yeah, I need to work on it. Yeah. Wait, you want to do it for me? AOP, tag team champs, baby. There you go. There you go. You got to put some bass in there. You got to put some bass. I I was a little bit of a Watch uh, some up up down down. Here Kofi do it. You'll 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 pick up on it real baby. quick. Uh we'll work on that. Um well cool. Then we can have our tag team versus tag team match. I don't mind AOP versus That's the, the bar. That's the only reason this happened. That's great. It needed to happen. Yeah. You can't just yeah, leave that you float out there. It should have happened months ago you, with the revival having a 3 month title reign. But, yeah, the revival yeah, has has the tag team titles. No, no revival. And, and Toddy has, says, and Toddy says he likes my spin on baby. What? Revival had a shot at the titles, and it was taken away from them. It was taken away. It was, was taken it? away because I think they got injured, didn't they? One of them. No, Drew and Dolphin Drew beat him up. Oh, <laughs> that's right. Um. Okay. Well, I, like I said, we had Elias. Elias was was amazing as as always. Elias was the only good thing on Raw. Uh, when did he turn babyface? Listen, wait a minute. Uh, a couple weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Yeah, two did weeks he? ago. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I I enjoyed. I love the. Uh, uh, was it Charlie that kept uh, finding Baron, Baron Corbin, who was uh, running from from uh, um, Strowman, and uh, I love was like, why did you set up the studio here in this extra sp- uh, uh, this spare room over here? It's like it's like you just told everybody exactly where I am. <laughs> And I uh, called her a bad penny later. Like that, those were the little bits that I liked tonight. Okay, but it's still, it's distracting from the overall shitty concept that once again, we have now two single champions who will not wrestle on Raw. Wait, wait who's the other one? Who's the other one? Ronda. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're back to that. We're back to that. Yep. Yep. Uh, now we have Mike? now we have Ronda and female Ronda. Mike. And I mean, male. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm Becky Lynch is calling herself the man. I'm getting confused. Yeah, yeah. The genders are which, all blurred. Which is accurate. Becky is the fucking man in professional wrestling right now. 
Um, let's see. Uh, when they tried, uh, uh, Braden's calling out that they tried to push Ziggler in a five day span, but they failed twice. Um, yep. Yep. Always, uh, yep. always the underdog, never the top dog. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it, <laughs> that was pretty good. Sorg. All right, hold on. That's pretty good. Sidebar. Sidebar. We need to have a, someone needs to make an episode of Table for Three, but instead make it Table for Five, and call it Almost Got Him, and put like all the guys who almost got to be the main person on Raw. <laughs> so like the Miz, uh, yes, Ziggler, yes, uh, who Kofi, else? Kofi, yeah, really, yeah, Kofi, yeah. yeah. Kofi was back in the day. He, uh, Kofi was getting a run against like what Randy Orton as a champ or yeah, something. Rand- yeah, he mm. destroyed a NASCAR mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. beat Randy Orton with a boom drop in Madison Square Garden. Can we put Bobby Lashley in that mix? No, no, no. no. Really? Fuck Bobby Lashley. Okay, uh, Sami Zayn. Yes, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens like, was the man. Give- no, he wasn't. Yes, he was. He had a good run. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, no, he had a great no, run. He, did, he, he had a good he run. He had a really good run. With Jericho. The only reason it was uh, cut short was because it fell out during the wrong time of the year. Yeah. Then. Kevin Owens was overshadowed in every single feud he was in. No, he wasn't. Not while he had no, the title. Oh, no, 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 no. Are no, no. I, I highly disagree with you on this. Okay. I, All right. All right. Anyways, who, who, who do you lose to again? Goldberg. Goldberg. Lesnar lost to Goldberg. Goldberg. So? Didn't CM Punk lose to Rock once? Yeah. I said the end of his run sucked too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, Mike, I I got a problem. (laughs) Just one? Uh, WWE isn't doing it for me anymore. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. You Wait, know, who isn't? Uh, the, the WWE is not doing it for me anymore. Oh yeah, no, I entirely agree. Uh, no, I've been, I've been like, no, I'm gonna watch Raw. Raw is Raw. You know, I, you know, I can get in the mindset for it. I know what to expect from Monday nights. But between the, um, the weird pay per views over the last month, let's just put it that way. Man, Ooh, I don't yeah. know. I don't know if I can keep going at this. So are we going to start doing Monday Night New Japans? Yeah! Welcome I'm to the new podcast. Uh, what would you say? I'm not paying for that. Give me <laughs> I'm, I'm already paying we'll, we'll, for it. We'll all share Larry's account. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they'll check that one. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, no, I, it, it just that's just where I'm at with this. It's just one, one too many rematch from a pay-per-view I saw two weeks ago. Um, and, and also now every single title is in a holding pattern. For at least two more weeks, because yep. Survivor Series has to happen. Is yes, it though? I am so over. I, I I am not looking forward to another Raw versus SmackDown pay per view. Why are the titles in a holding pattern? Because um they they're locked into champion versus champion, champion and Survivor versus Series. They're locked in. Why why can't I mean, they it have could a... change? It could very I well would, change. I would love I would love to see Samoa Joe win the title next week and then go against Lesnar and Survivor yeah, Series. Yeah, because otherwise we're gonna well, have Larry. You're doing writing. I'm just saying. It would be good. You're doing writing. That's adorable. I can do writing, too. You want me to do writing? Yeah, you can do writing. I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay. This is something I came up with after (laughs) that happened on Friday. (laughs) And I'm not going to mention what it was. Nope. But y'all know what the fuck it was. Something happened on Friday. Yeah. Um, So here's my idea. Okay. Because Survivor Series, the champion versus champion match, is a fucking rerun. So here's my concept. AJ Styles is so angry that he wasn't able to get the job done against Brock Lesnar last year that he decides to make things a bit more interesting because he believes in himself. And he proposes to Brock that we make it not just champion versus champion. We make it title versus title. There's no way they're going to do a title versus. Oh, title. I'm well aware. Like I said, we're doing this little writing exercise oh, that WWE right, gotcha, doesn't gotcha, do. Gotcha. Okay. They they have they have their sharpie like champion versus champion. They have that written in sharpie just like five times on the board for Survivor Series. So that's not going to change. 
But yeah, I'd love to see that because then AJ Styles could be a, du- a dual champion and we can just have really great AJ Styles matches on both shows. That would be nice. Well, Mike, wouldn't it? Well, Mike, how much of Raw was watchable for you tonight? I watched the football game. No, I'm no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I watched both. Um, oh, how long did that Elias and Ziggler segment last? The segment about or the long? match? About about that long, honestly. Oh, although I did like um, Alexa kind of taking tr- taking charge because mm-hmm. she's injured. Mm-hmm. I thought that was kind of fun, but at the end of the day, she had all these matches, didn't, and that's a single person for Survivor Series. So, what the fuck is the point? Yeah, what were we doing? If the, what, it, it's if like it's like for... she showed up for the first ten minutes of Raw in business suit bliss, came and said, "Y'all, are, y'all bitches are having all these matches." Then she went to go get fish and chips. Like, <laughs> I like, I really want that to be the background on this. <laughs> yeah. By the way, uh, hashtag business business suit bliss. Mm-hmm. Hashtag business soupless. Is she like is she like the, the the raw women's general manager? No, it's like it's like when AJ became uh, GM of Raw. Power suit AJ. Uh, Larry, how much of Raw was watchable for you tonight? I know you were oh. kind of doing a few other. <laughs> it's good. Oh, <laughs> Alex, Alex, we're gonna talk about that. We'll say too, twenty bro. minutes. 20 minutes. We'll say 20 minutes. Wow. That's that's a healthy 20 minutes. Wow. I'm going to go <laughs> I'm going to go uh 45. Whoa. Holy shit, that's low for you, Sorg. Mm-hmm. I just was That not. is low for the Sorg. I don't know team. if it's a residual about other things I'm unhappy about uh WWE right now, but it's I guarantee it is. You know, <laughs> you know what was Cuz the- I I did watch another show today. And that left me. I think that left a bad taste in my mouth for Raw. You know what? I told you not to watch that. I need oh, to go it's like I, I don't give lower. a shit if it happened in Albany. It wasn't good. I need to go lower. I'm well, gonna go. Um, I'm gonna drop down to fifteen. Fifteen. <laughs> because I totally forgot about that Leo Rush segment that to- that just killed the mood for me. Like, <laughs> We've I, been dealing with I that turned, for a month. Yeah, I, I've like that's the first time I've heard him talk. Yeah, he he needs to stop. Yeah, no, he's great. He need, he's no. great, no. but not. That way, he he no, he needs to stop. He's he's good, but he's not that right. They just, mm, mm. man, Mike. No, he he he'd be good if he had someone to bounce off of instead of a fucking pile of rocks named Bobby Lashley. Oh boy! Like if you like if he was doing this for Drew McIntyre. Hey Bobby, show him that oh, trick where you fuck, bend over and just that. show everybody your ass. <laughs> Do that trick, Bobby. Ooh, uh, this one. Touch base, we're uh, commentary team. Are we getting better with Renee, and Mike? Mm, sure. Okay. All right. She 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 lived after Friday, so that's a plus. Oh, good. <laughs> Oof. That's a that's a solid. That's a she's, A plus effort. She's in my better book. than Coach. Oh man, Coach went away. Um, no, no, he didn't. No, he was no. on the pre-show. Oh, for that thing on Friday. Oh, yeah, yeah. But that's only a problem for people who have the network. Side notes. Well, side notes. I loved uh, Booker T saying, uh, I'm done with this kickoff show and I'm going to go on plane, plane and see my wife. Uh, I was <laughs> like, so you're not sticking around to watch this show either. Um, and um, and sorry, sorry, he may not even have been in that country. <laughs> well, I know. I don't he know how, no, it was very obvious they're at the TV I studio. I don't know how I could possibly know something like that, and no. I definitely don't think he had free sandwiches <laughs> by a certain company. And um, and I wa- I started watching the uh, NXT UK today. Also, obviously, we did not fly Vic and Nigel over to the UK for this. Apparently, so I'm sorry. When I see a green screen background, that means you're not in a fucking building, okay? Oh yeah, no, they're not. <laughs> well, I mean, they are in a building. What? Well, yeah. Yes, in Stanford. Um, Toddy, yeah. one last note. Uh, Toddy says Leo Rush is your little brother who always wants to hang out with you and your friends who won't stop annoying you until you let them love him. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Um, guys, it's right. been a raw wrap up. Mad Mike four eight eight three on the Twitter. Guys, guys. All right, enough. Enough of this terrible WWE talk. Do you know what's on Wednesday? Dude, I got through like two or three episodes of Lucha. What's, Do what? you know what's on Wednesday? Oh. What's on Wednesday? Ultima Lucha Birthday Dos. Oh. 
And there's some shit that happened in the first one I saw on Twitter. Oh, there's some shit that happened. So. Oh, I'm up for. I'm up to um, the next episode is where Marty the Moth comes back after winning the belt. Sorg. Mm. Sorg. Sorg. I'm working on it. I bought the season, Mike. Sorg. Sorg. I just need Sorg. time. I, I Sorg. dude. We're, we're, I was in like two or three states this weekend. Sorg, we're tying up loose ends. I've been in two states this weekend. Well, you you're in two straights like every day because you work there. I know. I was, and I'm still caught the fuck up, Sorg. <laughs> we'll compare <laughs> schedules later. Larry, <laughs> you can check out what he's doing in the basement. Yep. Darkforgestudios.com. Co. Co. Dot co. Like the cool kids. Co as in cool. Co as King in of the co. co. King of the co. Darkforgestudios.co. That's where he does things. They should remember it by now. Yes. We haven't really <laughs> talked about it because you haven't been on. At Sorgatron on the Twitter. Please, please go uh, check out everything. SorgatronMedia.com. A lot of fine, fine programs. Uh, we will not be live for Wrestling Mayhem Show, but we are looking to record something here in the near, very near future. Uh, so you will have something in your pod feeds, and we may actually even do a video premiere of the show um, Tuesday night as well. So please go check that out and subscribe to everything. Subscribe to the Wrestling Mayhem Show Super Feed to check out everything going on here. And a hot tip over at uh, www, please use the W's, dot wrestling dot network. We added a ton of new content, including Duke and Doe's Hardcore Memories. What? Alex Miller says, who's going to watch Lucha Without Pants on Wednesday? <laughs> That's, that's appropriate. Sheepishly raises hands. <laughs> You're cutting into the promos. Yeah, IndieWrestling.network. Use the W's. Uh, we have a Duke and Doe's Hardcore Wrestling, uh, which um, where we talk about how uh, Duke Davis apparently looks like the Predator. There's reasons. Um, uh, two two shows from Black Diamond Wrestling, um, as well as... Were those the ones? I think one of those had Cheeseburger from Ring of Honor and Brutal Bob Evans, if I'm not mistaken. And... Um, uh, to um, volume four of the PWO TV, in, including a baby Johnny Gargano and a baby DJ Z. <laughs> Go check out all that stuff. Seven day free trial, indie wrestling.network, www.indiewrestling.network. Trust me, use the W's. I haven't fixed that domain yet. Um, Go check it out. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Until next time, please keep it raw. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait Wait for the perfect time to attack Don't give up what you want, take it back Wait for the perfect time to attack This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.